Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, happy new year to you all. Uh, this video is recorded by Georges Beaulieu, the founder of uh, uh, dayprotraders.com, stochasticmadi.com and 24 elliotwavecom We wish you the very best in this year 2014. May all your wishes be granted. All right, let's get started. All right, back to business, back to work. All right, after the Christmas celebration and a New Year celebration, I hope you all have a very, very good time. Life is not all about trading. All right, so one must take time off, okay, to enjoy, okay, oneself. The title of this video is uh, CCI Indicator Trading Mistakes. A part of frame. If you have not watched part one and part two, you may do so. And before watching this video, because uh, in the first uh, part of the video, we were talking about uh, the oversold uh, commodity channel index indicator. When the commodity channel index indicator is oversold, when is the best time to buy? All right. In the second part of this video, we were talking about the overbought uh, CCI indicator when one should okay look for opportunity to sell all right so now after watching the first part and the second part one should be able to recognize the valid sell signal when the cci is overbought and valid buy signals when the commodity channel index is oversold one should also be able to understand what is the meaning of uh, okay uh, the level of uh, positive 100 where the commodity channel when above goes above positive 100 okay if you are using the cci period uh, 20 is telling that the price is uh, near the upper band or the bollinger band 20 but if you are using the cci period 30 as i have here if the cci period 30 is above the level of uh, positive 100 is telling that the price is near or above okay the upper bound of the Bollinger band 30 if you are using the CCI period 24 and uh, the CCI period 24 reaches uh, the level of uh, negative hundreds minus hundred is telling us that uh, the price is on or near okay the lower bound of the Bollinger band period uh, 24 all right in the third part of this video, we're going to focus on the central line or the zero line of uh, the CCI indicator because uh, we have minus uh, 100 level and then we have the zero level and then also, all right, and the level of 100, okay? So when the CCI is uh, on or near <laughs> the zero line, okay, it's zero line, if you are using in this instance CCI period 30, it's telling that the price is on or near, okay, the moving average 30. In this case, I'm using the simple moving average 30 because the CCI 30, all right, where the price near the zero line, the middle line, or the central line, is telling that the price is near the moving average 30. If you were using the commodity channel period 14 and the commodity channel period 14 is on or near the zero line or the central line, it is telling us that the price is on or near the moving average 14. But if you were using the commodity channel period 20 and the price crosses above uh, the central line or d below the central line or the price or the commodity channel index is on or near the central line is telling that the price is uh, okay on or near okay the moving average 20 all right so the zero line represents the period of our moving average so if you are using the period 30 the zero line represents the moving average 30 if you are using the period 15 the zero line or the central line will represent the moving average 15 because the commodity channel index is comparing the price to a moving average. So by selecting okay, uh, a, a particular okay, period for your CCI, you are setting, okay, you are comparing the price to that moving average. All right, so in fact, 
one can um, put aside the commodity channel index and pay attention to the price itself. So here I have the commodity channel period 30. It's comparing the price to the moving average 30. I have on my chart here the simple moving average 30. So as you can see, every deviation away from the moving average 30 is highlighted by the price by the commodity channel deviating away from the central line. All right. You can see here I have some beautiful signal. These are good signal. And I want to show you what you need to pay attention to so you may avoid the commodity channel trading mistakes or errors. All right. Now, there are a lot of things being said on the Internet that are nothing to do because um, when we are talking about uh, technical trading or trading in general, we want to work with market principle, which is bringing us back all the time to the price and the fundamental. All right. But uh, there was some teaching, okay, that traders said, when the CCID below the central line and cross back above it, one should buy. By trading like this, what is happening, one is trading the commodity channel instead of the price. And uh, you will see very often sometimes that type of trading does not work. But if you understand, okay, if you understand why the commodity channel will dip below the central line and goes back above it before one should buy, you will be able to filter out a false uh, signal instead of just uh, any time the below cost. You'll be looking down on the CCI, taking the trading the CCI instead of uh, trading the price. All right. I want you to pay attention to the first uh, spot green line here. All right. I've spent because a few years ago I do some YouTube search for the commodity channel index. And I have noticed those years that there were not many videos about uh, uh, this uh, powerful uh, 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 trading tool. So after spending many years to understand uh, this uh, technical trading tool, I have started posting videos on YouTube. I posted video on um, a Joe Trio channel. I posted uh, a video also on Day Pro Traders channel. And I will continue to do that because is so important for traders to understand uh, their trading tools or the technical indicators. It is very important. Because if you don't know what is the meaning of the indicator, the RSI, the CCI, the MACD, the moving averages, the Bollinger Band, you don't know how this thing, okay? Or you just learn it like theory, but you don't understand the whole purpose of these, uh, the signals you are likely to just go round, round, round and do all sorts of things. Not because you cannot trade, but you do not understand your tool. All right? So pay attention to this uh, spotlight here. All right? This is a good signal. Why is it a good signal? All right? Look carefully. I right, want to move uh, this away. You can see that at this point in time, the commodity channel index D below the central line and crosses back above it. Now, this is a good signal. When a CCI, pay attention, when a CCI goes above the zero line and a return back near the central line or D below the central line before returning above it, sometimes it may not D below it before going back above it. Sometimes it just come and near it and then go back up. The best signals are the signals that takes place when the price breaks above a resistance level. In this case, we are in an uptrend, break it above a resistance level and retest it here. So anytime you see the CCI coming near the zero line or D below the central line before returning above it, check with which resistance has been taken out. You want to buy you want to look for opportunity to buy right here because the price breaks above the blue resistance level. This was a, the previous high. The price breaks above it and retests it here. That's what the CCI is telling us here. This is a signal, a good signal here. All right. You can see here, there was another one ED below the level here. If I, if I, and it goes back above it here. All right. Pay attention. So anytime you see the CCI, going above and then deep in below the, the central line before going up, check what has happened. You are trading the price. There was a resistance here. See this resistance? And the price went above it. But you see, the price deep below that uh, 
resistance level, you see, it went below it, while the CCR was below the central line. But then the CCR quickly went back above the zero line, and the price also returned back above it. This, you will look for opportunity to buy here. So, breaks above, retest, and turn around. Now, this is a setup because you're on a daily chart. We will use a multiple time frame trading okay, to take the trade because if you just see that this on a daily chart and you place a trade, you can end up losing. <laughs> All right? And you may say to me, or you may go and mark the video down, which I don't, doesn't bother me. All right? But because you have trade, okay, the setup, all right? But you have to break it down, all right? Because you want to break it down, so if there is a change taking place, you can see it quickly. Now, I need to mention to trade, the reason why we see uh, more and more activity of a high frequency trade in the market, they are smart because they want to know what is happening at early stage. That's why they go to the lower time frame, so that if the music is changing, so to speak, if the signal is failing, they may know straight away. If a trend is about to begin, they should be the first to join the trend. The trend. If the trend is changing, they should be the first to know that the trend is also changing. All right. The same thing, because in the past, a lot of uh, pension funds and all other hedge funds were trading on a high time frame like this, and they will place a trend like this. So, because they have a deep pocket, and they will keep it there until it worked out perfectly. But uh, since 2008, the music has changed, the market has changed a lot, and you must always apply the, the multiple time frame trading method, the setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point. If the signal fell, you must come out, okay? So this is a setup. Now, some trader will not listen to this. It is a setup. This is not the signal yet. This is a setup. Okay, this is set up. Okay, so the reason why I'm saying this is because it's so important. This is set up. So, so you see here, this is a good one. It breaks above the resistance level. Why the price goes above the resistance? It's bullish. Now, we want to confirm with the, with the conversion of this resistance level into a support level. You must come back and touch it. And if you find a support, this resistance is now converted into a support level. We will do also the opposite. When if, uh, the CCR was below the zero line, that's one here. You see this uh, level here, it's a support level. The prime went above it, you see. It retest this level, went up, so it found a support here, went up a bit before coming down. So this is a support here, you see. Now the price did below it, what the price did. During that time, the CCR did below the central line, even went to the oversold zone, and went back above the central line before coming back below it. Very often, trader will say if the CCR did below the central line and goes back above, okay, the central line before returning back below it, you will look for opportunity to sell here. But what are you looking for? You are not trading the CCI, you are trading the price. So if the price, if in that at that point in time the price D below is support level and it's retesting here, you see, if I put um, if you like this video, like if you dislike it, dislike it. But if you like it, share it with uh, other traders so they may also understand how to trade a CCI indicator. You see here the prior test that support level that support level and final resistance and start going down. But as the prior was going down, by the time the CCR reaches return back below the center line, the prior was near another dynamic support level. The moving averages are dynamic support level. This horizontal line is what we call a static support level. Now so prior went down and went you know, start going down up to this dynamic support level. And uh, before the CCR was trying to cross the zero line here, you see, it didn't go down very fast and it just went horizontal because of this uh, support level here. So the first thing you want to look for, if you want to trade around the, the central line or the zero line of uh, the CCI, here it is, there's another one here, pay attention. What you are looking for, for a bullish turn around near the central line, like this one, 
if you see it like this, check the price. Break above this resistance. If you like, we can start coloring them in different column so you can see it clearly. I'm speaking slowly like this, not to uh, annoy traders, but so that uh, everybody can follow me carefully. So here is this, you see when above the red line, red horizontal line, and was already testing here. Look what the CC has done. She went up like this, you see, pulled back and was turning around near the zero line. That's it, that's it. You are trading the price, not the CCA. Okay? That's what you are looking for. So another one here, this resistance here, you can see that the price went quick, 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 fast to this level, just put it here, and then pulled back a bit, and then went back again, pulled back a bit, there's a resistance here. They start the price brace above it, round far away, and pull back, and retest it here. If I put a vertical line there, you will see exactly how the CCI has acknowledged uh, this uh, level here. Here it is, right here. This little bit deep here, and turn around, deep below you a little bit, and then start turning around, and the price gush out a bit, you see here. This is a setup. This is not a signal. We wait for a signal. On another time frame, at the 50 minutes, hourly chart, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, it's up to you. And then you zoom into it when for your entry time frame. All right? Okay, so trading a CCR on or near the central line, one must look for the price, okay, for the bullish signal, price breast above the resistance level, and retain that resistance level, converting the resistance level into support level. For a bearish signal where the CCI okay, was first below the zero line and then it went above the center line and quickly returned back below it. In that case, we are looking for the price to be below a support level and to retest a support level and to convert that support level into resistance at the point where the CCI is returning back below the central line. This is the correct way one should trade a CCI around the central line. All right, everything else is not stable. All right, it's, I'm not saying that it's not valid. It's not stable. It's not reliable because you are trading the indicator instead of uh, trading the price. And with this knowledge, you will be able to filter out, okay, false, uh, okay, turn around, so to speak around the central line of the commodity channel in this indicator. I'm going to switch my time frame now to the weekly chart and try to see if uh, what I've said is still valid. Because if we are talking about a, a market stable data, is something that remains intact on all time frame that is reliable with which we can work with, all right? So we don't want to just uh, apply uh, some theory that are not valid. All right, we want to work with things that remain intact. But uh, sometimes traders will come and watch a video, or they are new traders, they are maybe trading for a year or two, and they think that uh, they should trade like professional traders after one week or after watching a few videos. Well, it's up to you. So, some traders can do it, but uh, I mean, the market, with uh, losing and winning and uh, the ups and downs, and the forecourt and the discipline, and that's how what make a better trader. And the worst thing you can do to a trader is to lie to a trader. Trader will always respect you if you tell them the truth. They go around, they do. They may go and do other things, which is fine. It's part of the trading. They may go lose, wipe out the trading account. But at the end of the day, if they know that you tell them the truth, they will always respect you. But if you just uh, talking to traders like a public show. All right, to have more interest, uh, or you cut the truth in half, later on, this trader will hate you so much, all right? Because when they grow up or they mature, they will understand that everything that you were saying was completely wrong. And I don't want to get into that game, all right? <laughs> I don't want to get into that game, okay? So here we are again, there's another one here, you see? Right, pull back. Sometimes you may not see straight away a resistance or a support level, on your chart. In that case, what we use to, to detect a hidden support and resistance level, we use Fibonacci retracement level and extension level. Sometimes you may not see a resistance like this, but then 
we can use uh, Fibonacci replacement levels to dictate what is the price is doing. All right. Okay, here you can see that uh, though we didn't have any resistance here, the price retesting, there's a dynamic resistance which is uh, the 30, the level 30, you see, uh, pull back the price, hold on a second. So the price deviates away from the moving of the 30, which is CCI highlighted here. So now the price was pulling back near the CCI. Uh, was put, the price was pulling back near uh, the moving of the 30. And the CCI also was pulling back near the moving of the, uh, move, uh, the, the CCI was move, was uh, pulling back near the central line. There are other trading methods which I've already talked about. I just your channel. Sometimes you will see a divergence between the CCI and the price. Now I'm not talking about bearish divergence, bullish divergence that everybody is talking about when the price is overbought, oversold. Sometimes you will see that the CCI will pull back near the central line, but the price will be far away from the moving average itself. You see here, this is a kind of divergence because the CCI was pulling back near the central line, telling us that soon there's a high chance that the price will pull back also near the moving average 30. This is a kind of uh, okay a leading signal, but this is just a warning. We will not just uh, start selling or buying with the warning alone. The price must confirm it. And finally, you see here, it was pulling near the, the central line, but the price was far away from the moving of the 30. So we will be watching and say that, okay, there's a high chance that uh, uh, this uh, price may pull back near the moving average 30. All right? Okay? Here you can see as I draw this line from here to here, uh, the retracement is at a 23.6% level. So sometimes you may not see a resistance or support level on your chart. Use the Fibonacci retracement level, especially the 50% and the 61.8% level. Sometimes the price will pull back to that level. All right. If you pay attention carefully here on this uh, weekly chart, See this level here? Try when above it, retest it here, and then run away. Try to come near it here, couldn't touch it. Here you see uh, it came to touch this zone, and then went up again, all right? Then you can see here, okay, further the reply D below it, okay? And then uh, return above it here. This support level, you see, you want above it, can you, okay, you see, or you try to, oops, oops. Finally, the prime went above, uh, if I call it uh, into orange, you'll see clearly on your chart. The prime went above the orange line, finally, you see D below it, and then you return back above it. But as it went above it, it must confirm it now as a support level. These two candles, the red one and the doji here. The red one here and doji as the price pull to retest to confirm this uh, orange line as a support level and then from there it changed the direction before going up. As you can see, as he went above, it was going up, the price was also acknowledging this resistance, the blue line here. Here again, it went down a bit before going above it. All right, so it doesn't matter which time frame we are on, we can apply uh, this strategy, okay? Let's go. I couldn't see much on this. Uh, uh, let's see if you can see some. Uh, hold on a second. See some bearish signal that we can all pay. Okay, hold on a second. So, for the bearish signal, we want the, price, the CCI to go above the zero line and to quickly return back below it. Now, in that case, we must watch what the price is doing. As always, it's the price, the number one indicator. So one thing we can do is we can just draw our key levels on our chart to know where we are and what the price is doing, okay? We can also use the Fibonacci retracement levels, okay, to know where we are, okay, and what the price is doing, okay?
if you pay attention to I will color this one now into pink okay so you can see this was a resistance level the pink line probably went touch it went back down came here touch it okay when above it only to come back down so the, the pink line is the resistance level look finally the price went above it nicely above it and uh, okay it touched it here first I pull back here and you see where the CCA is it pulled back near the central line before going back up all right you want to trade the price and use the trend line if you are trading the CCI that's the best approach you can see here the CCI pulled back a little bit like this but at that point in time the price was retesting the trend line now you can see that all the time and the attention is on the price to trade on the edge you see here though he couldn't come near the center line he was retesting the trend line here but the first time here you see he was coming back near the zero line before going up but if you focus too much on the TCI instead of the price you will be trading like a crazy person all right and you don't want to do that okay <laughs> all right okay now here we are we, again if I color this one um, into orange again now you can see that uh, the the price uh, went below this one first the blue line was trying to retest it but it couldn't touch it so in fact it found a resistance for uh, on the edge of the moving of a 30 you can see it's a, a bearish moving of a 30 here okay couldn't go and retest this support level now sometimes traders do not pay attention to the moving averages or the dynamic uh, uh, support and resistance level these are moving averages and uh, though the price the best place is this level here but there is another dynamic resistance level which is the the bearish moving average 30 here that's why the price couldn't retest, okay, the blue horizontal line here. So price tried to go back up again, same zone, same orange line, retest it here. You can see again here the price retest the same level here after displaying a lower low. Here, yeah? price display a lower low, okay, and return back to a resistance level. We will look for opportunity to sell, like you can see here see there was equal low here now we have a lower low and the prior return to a resistance level if the price does not go above that resistance level and find a support is still bearish because the price had displayed a lower low and couldn't go back above the nearest resistance level is still bearish it's stuck in the boss and it's not going too far until it crosses that resistance level because this is the resistance that is causing it to go down so first time this resistance causes the price to pull back second time it causes again to pull back and display a new lower low now the price again at the same resistance level well well some people sold it here the same people sold it here or others were placed here to sell and somebody is selling here so the third time is coming here everybody knows that there were people here selling so majority of people want to sell this is a, a setup does not mean sell straight away the setup the signal and the low risk entry point okay yeah, this is a nice signal because the CCR was below the zero line and you can see it went above it only to quickly come back down below the central line below the zero line or the central line you see here if you look at this one carefully here, the, I'm showing you here how to avoid the mistakes around, okay, the central line or the CCI indicator. All right? It makes sense. It's also a powerful. All right? So the key point we need to understand first is that when you're using a CCI period 30, the central line is represented by the moving average 30. You are using the CCIP or 20, uh, the central line is representing uh, okay, the moving average 20, which is a dynamic support and resistance level. Now, to trade the CCI on or near the central line, for all bullish signal on or near the central line, the price must break above a resistance level and return that resistance level and convert the resistance level into support level. If you want to sell 
around, on or near or around the, the central line, the primary DB low support level, retail that support level, and convert a support level into a resistance level. If we see this on a higher time frame, like weekly chart, monthly chart, daily chart, this is a setup. Even on the four, which is a setup, we must now use a multiple time frame trading method, which we will look for a signal. A signal can be uh, going to, for instance, uh, you go to the, uh, if you see the setup now on the daily chart, one can switch to the 30 minute chart. Price is come out of a bearish channel. Now it's now displaying higher low in a, a, rise, a new rising channel. All right, that can be also a method. I don't want to go deeply into this uh, multiple time frame trading method because it seems to me that no one wants to talk about it openly. So I'm also carefully not talking about it openly, but TSTWS or as usual, a traders know what is a multiple a time frame training method, okay? All right. So I think uh, this is the end of this video. So that's it really, you need to know. Uh, uh, to avoid the key point is to understand what you are trading is the price, you are not trading the CCI. What the CCI, which why you are using the CCI period 30. I uh, see some comment on one on of our video about uh, the CCI indicator, the person was talking about uh, the setting that I use. I need to answer this question here. The setting that one is using is not that very important. All right, so it doesn't matter whether I am using 16 of 20 or not, but I do not recommend to trade it to use the period 14 very much. But if you understand, okay, the meaning of the commodity channel, in commodity channel index indicator, how to use it, and you are trading the price by applying it, by aligning with the market patterns and uh, avoiding to distort the market anyhow or trade the indicator itself instead of the price, you should be all right. Happy New Year to you all. We are the TSTWSYS08 traders. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Speak to you soon.